Welcome to Electro Online and now let's talk about the Ring of Fire. So what I've tried to do here is freehand draw some the the regions around the Pacific Ocean. This is the Pacific Ocean of course I did not really do justice to the Pacific Ocean because it is the largest ocean in the world. It is like 6,000 miles across between the continents of North America, South America, Asia and Australia. But it at least gives you a good idea. If we go along the coastline of South America to Central America, North America, Alaska, uh, Northern Russia, Siberia, Kamchatka, down to Japan, uh, we have uh, Taiwan, the Philippines, Indonesia, all the way down to Oceania, the Pacific Islands there like Fiji and so forth, do, who do experience volcanic activity. All the way around this red line, this is considered the ring of fire because if we draw it to scale, it's almost like a circular ring. And it's along this ring that we have tremendous geologic activity, such as earthquakes, volcanic activity, tsunamis, mountain building volcanoes going on constantly. I would say that any given day, somewhere around this ring, there will be, there will be something going on such as earthquakes. Earthquakes are probably continuous. Most of them are relatively small, but sometimes they're enormous enormous uh, earthquakes causing large tsunamis, all kinds of volcanic activity along this, this ring of fire. It's a continual process that is ongoing. If we were to come back, let's say, a million years from now and take a look at this ring, you'd see tremendous geological changes. Many new volcanoes, old ones eroded down, new ones built, new mountain ranges beginning to push up and so forth. There's tremendous activity, again, all because of the interior heat being generated by the tidal forces and by the radioactive decay of the interior heavy uh, minerals, the heavy elements that are in the earth, uh, underneath the earth's crust decaying. So that continual motion that caused the asthenosphere to be in the liquid state causes the continental drift, causes the motion between the boundaries of the various tectonic plates. And so therefore, this is what we call a very active geological uh, planet. Earth is extremely geological active and here we have all the evidence. It's interesting how the activity is usually around, along a boundary between plates. If you go far into the interior, you're much, much, much less likely to find this intense geologic activity. Although it's not excluded because some of these boundaries and cracks exist in various places around the world. Even, in, even for the small plates, you have those rings where you find unusual amount of geologic activity but that's the cause of that so-called ring of fire and it's amazing anywhere you go along that ring you find tremendous activity on a continual basis.